Yes, so I raised the engine up by lifting this up there to there and I also um, see that uh, the disengaged thing is right here. There's a knot. I just need to turn this uh, and then I'll be loosening the, I'll be able to disengage the gear cable, uh, gear shift gear shifting cable from the lower unit so that's what I'll do here you know which is much easier I didn't have to raise this thing all the way up okay so I'm gonna try to lower it again you can see this thing is kind of rusty here uh, so I don't really want to put too much stress, uh, stress on this here because it's breaking away you know this metal piece is breaking away I can probably replace this here the effort so we'll see maybe I have to do something with these uh, this this piece here you know and I don't think I ever need to uh, to the engine this high as you can see this uh, knot is up high because I put it in forward so I'm going to put it in neutral you can see this knot come down a lot more than if I put it into reverse you can see it's gonna go down there so the best position is to put it in and then now I can have a good grasp on this thing and then loosen the loosen the uh, shift gear shift cable okay so what we need to do. Start lose one, two, and then three, four, and it's down there, three and four. So, you know, now I'm about to drop the uh, lower unit because I already disconnected it here. You know, so I'm ready to drop. Remove all four screws, screws, and uh, now it's time to drop it. Drop the lower unit. nothing connected and uh, should be able to drop this lower unit from this midsection here yeah give it a few whacks you can see it's it's um, showing the crack already so it's about to drop you know, so. so you can see it's dropping. It's dropping. 
anything more. Because I can use my uh, slotted screwdriver to try to open this crack further up so I can separate the lower unit from the midsection. Driver to poke. Poke, as you can see, it's very uh, narrow there. So we can use this one smaller. Bigger screwdriver. Let's see if the bigger screwdriver can do anything. Um, the other thing is I can use my um, mallet to hammer this and try to oops try to make the lower unit come down. You know, just hammer on here hammer here and then have the lower unit to come down and that's what I'll do. I'm just going to use my block to do the service. To try to separate the lower unit. And you can see it seems to be doing some separation work and not so much for the front. Trying to see if I can put some downward pressure. Okay, yeah. Separating. Okay, here we go. It's separating, but it's not dropping yet. So I'm just going to keep. Yep. You can see, now finally this thing is dropped. Okay, and, uh, ooh. Pretty rusty there. connecting and not dropping down. I'm going to flip this thing over, see what happened there. Okay. Okay. Oh. Here it's pretty rusty. Water pump is pretty rusted, as you can see. And oh, here it's rusted. Wow. Why is it not dropping? Ah. It should just drop. What's up there to what's down here? I'm not sure. 
you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do some uh, hammering again and see if it will separate. Not budging, huh? Very interesting. Oh. Very interesting. Let's see if I can now doing the Shift. The gear is not gonna do anything. I don't think. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, it didn't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna. This is a neutral, so. lower unit because I have to remove this knot out of the oh, out of this screw here so I can out because it was 